Holy crap. Oh my god. This is... Whoa. This is... Oh my god. I haven't even started the video yet. This is a huge chunk of bryozoa. This might be one of the largest pieces I've ever found in intact. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, well, I guess I should start then. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Sean Pivetti, and welcome to an, the first episode of the year for Finding Fossils with Sean. And boy, have we, we've already started. <laughs> uh, winter has finally gone, the snows have gone, and especially around here, all the winter flooding has gone. And boy, has it done an impact on this creek. But that means this is the perfect time of year to start searching for fossils. The ice has broken up. The, cold in the ice broke up a lot of the rocks, the water has flushed a lot of the extra junk away, and all that's remaining is perfectly <laughs> preserved fossils as I've already found. So let's not waste any extra time, let's go searching for fossils. <laughs> Every year I come back to this creek, you would wonder why do I keep coming back to this creek every year, besides it being my favorite fossil hunting spot. And it's because honestly, the creek changes every year, and this year especially. Um, we had really heavy, devastating rains for several days in a row that just caused massive flash flooding. And it's so evident in this creek. I, I, I guess I could say damage, but you know, it's still nature in its way. You see erosion uh, all along the hillside, cutting into the hills. It's only a matter of time before some of these trees fall down. 
And uh, beyond that, the creek banks further down, just a little bit further down when I pick up the trail again, it's widened the creek by like five feet on each side. <laughs> I mean, this creek used to be a pretty shallow creek. Now it's heavily rocked, heavily rocked all the way. It, it really cut in and revealed a rock all the way down, which is great for us, but whew, you never quite know what you're gonna get with mother nature, both in a good way and sometimes in a kind of a rough, hard day. But as my hero Steve Irwin always say, it's just Nietzsche's way. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Hi everybody, this is Sean from the future, jumping in here to provide some dialogue. So this is a really cool bone that I found in the creek. And uh, I really wanted to share it with you all. As I zoom in here, you can see the that the marrow has been completely chewed out from this bone, as I would expect it to be. That's the wonderful thing about nature is all these different creatures will eat different parts of the animal. It's not just the flesh, but it's also inside the bones. You can see here, all that's really left is the end of this spongy, bony material, end of the marrow at the end of the bone. Just look at all those fibers. Even at this point, this bone can provide calcium. Or small rodents and other animals that will chew on the outer sides of the bone. Nothing gets wasted. All right. And I think we're going to bring this episode of Finding Fossils with Sean to a close. Oh, for our first fossil hunt of the year, boy, this was a great one. We found tons of great fossils. Um, we found that bone. Um, we found the rock with the hole in it. And... Uh, I don't know if I got this on camera or not, but I found the largest crawdad and I kept trying to catch it and I missed every time. And now I have to change my socks because they are very, very wet. <laughs> uh, I'm looking to a lot of, looking towards a lot of great uh, fossil hunting adventures with you this year. We're gonna go to a couple different parks that I've never been to before and one that I haven't been to in at least ugh, since I was a little kid. So. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, maybe hit that subscribe button if you want to come back and see more. If not, I hope you had a great day. I hope you have a great week. And I'll see you again really soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>